Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna, author of uh, the website Russian Vagabond, where I'm writing about Germany and Austria life here as a foreigner. And today our topic is how to learn German fast, efficient from zero. Since I learned German from zero, I was uh, 20 years old, now I'm 24, so I I'm speaking German for around four years and I'm still learning, practicing, improving. And I want to share some tricks and tips uh, with you how you can do it in an efficient, fast way, in a best possible way. A little bit about German. It sounds hard, I know. It sounds harsh. It sounds as a difficult, harsh language. German vocabulary is gendered. Uh, grammar is not really intuitive and some words are really long and complicated like as a hell but it's not that difficult language i would say russian it's in uh, many times more difficult and grammar as well so don't be scared it's the first advice for you don't be scared with this language of this language um, if you learn the basics you can just apply these basics so you just need to learn uh, the ground the basics of the German language and it's quite simple it's quite logical because uh, as a Germans German language is very logical and I will explain why for example uh, many words are uh, sounds like they've written it's not like in English when you uh, see the word like like true you know like I write it totally different as it sounds but in German most of the time you write it and you pronounce it the same way so easy the next one there are a lot of words uh, put it together and uh, they have now meaning you know it's two words uh, like but butter bread butter bread butter it's a butter and bread is a bread german word butter bread is a sandwich it's a bread with butter it's quite logical and there are a lot of words like this also for example schildkräuter so schild it's a shell, sh shield, and kräuter is a frog, and schildkräuter is a turtle. Also logical, right? Although it's not really a frog. Okay. So let's jump to my tips and suggestions for you how you can learn German fast from zero, from the beginning, and don't do some mistakes uh, I did and other foreigners do. First and very important, set the call and follow this goal. Don't just learn German because you don't know the reason, you just won't. Just set a really, uh, really defined uh, goal. For example, you want to work in Germany, so you need to learn German. You want to study in Germany, you need to learn German. You want to move to your boyfriend or you want to speak with your German boyfriend. You want to learn German because you want to understand your boyfriend. So there are many different reasons why foreigners learn German language. But the first way is to set the goal and then you will understand why you learn German and you will do everything for reach your goal and master the language. The next is the biggest tip. It's, uh, I would suggest do it as fast as you can in any possible way. Come to Germany as a tourist or move to Germany and immerse yourself in the language. Uh, of course, the best way come to Germany, but you can also do it in your home country by using uh, language in your daily life, switch all your devices to the German language, speak to some maybe German uh, foreigners you know in your country, or maybe somebody from your friends, uh, of your friends uh, are speaking, is speaking German or somebody in your family, practice with them, just try to use uh, German as often as it possible. And also I would suggest listen to the podcast, like just playing podcasts all the time when you are commuting to the work or uh, walking or doing something. Just play all the time a podcast in the German language in your ears. It will activate your memory and you will memorize something of the language. And of course this immersion when you come to Germany it's the fastest way to learn German because uh, I learned German as I came here so I never learned it in Russia. My language was English in school and university so I came to Germany and I started, uh, I came as an au pair so I was in a family, in a German family 
but we were speaking English in the family. So after some time, they say me, they said me, uh, let's switch to uh, to German because uh, the kid didn't understand anything, of course, and it was quite uncomfortable. So uh, I tried to speak German all the time, and this what gave me the the speed practice German each day with the family, and then I visit also German course, of course. But just use your language as much as you can and listen to the people if you are in Germany. Listen to the people how they speaking. Like try to understand the contents of the language of the conversation they are having, and just try to repeat all what we say uh, in your mind. Uh, the phrases that also helps a lot. So just listen to the people and try to recognize uh, some words. You know, the next one, of course, is speak as speak as much as you can in German language. If you're already in Germany, don't hesitate to speak in German, please, because Germans will appreciate this. We will help you. Uh, and don't just be shy, really, because a lot of foreigners they just want to speak English all the time, because they are not confident enough to speak German. But I would always suggest just try your best, just really uh, speak some German, and it's not manageable, and then switch to English. But not all the time just speak English without trying to speak in German, because practicing is what makes you master. Uh, the practicing it's really a way of learning languages, I believe. Another tip is learn the words with the, with the article. So the each known has the gender and then the gender has, the, um, uh, yeah, it's like D, the does. So D is the feminine, they are masculine and does it's uh, neutral. So you are combining this with the known. You never say known just without the gender. And this D, the does, you have to learn it from the beginning which known has which gender because it's very important and many um, many foreigners just neglect this fact and we just learn the known as it is without editing their article. So start from the beginning, never learn the known without the gender because you will forget it, you will never learn the gender afterwards, you will just remember known, you will do all the time mistakes and it's very time consuming, you know, now when I, I don't know uh, an agenda of some word, I need to google the gender so I don't do mistake in a sentence and I really wish I was learning the all knowns with the gender because it's not always like this. You just say, okay, I will learn it later, but this later is never happens. Write the most frequent words in a notebook and take it all the time with you. So you are continually repeating and uh, pronouncing these words on the way you are sending it online. Just take your uh, notebook out and just uh, reading, continue repeating these words. You will remember better. They are all the time with you. This helped me a lot because I had a, like my notebook all the time with me everywhere I go. I never leave the house without a notebook. Just have it all the time with you. And for someone who is in their home country, want to start to learn German, I would recommend go to Goethe Institute. Uh, I think we're probably now in all countries in the world. It's a German institution which offers really high quality German courses. I think they are the best abroad. In Germany you can basically take almost all courses where quite good, but if you are abroad it's hard to find quality courses with a high educated uh, and qualified teachers. So a uh, good institute it's, would be always 100% good choice. And there you can learn a language uh, in the group with you know, like five people and you will be more productive and uh, more successful as you will learn at home sitting with your books. It's, it really doesn't bring anything and you forget next day because you're not practicing this in a group, you're just sitting alone with yourself. If you have opportunity, go all the, always to Goethe Institute. The next tip, learn modal verbs from the beginning. There are a lot of modal verbs, like not a lot, I think like six, eight, like um, I want, I need, I, I must, uh, I have to, some of these modal verbs as you have in English, because they will help you a lot to build a sentence and be more proficient in grammar and sound more like 
like fluent. So uh, this words are um, like very easy to use also because you just put them in the beginning and then in the end you put the verb, like normal verb, but without any con configuration, you know, basic uh, verb, just a uh, starting point. I don't know. I don't, I really don't know many words in grammar or whatever. But um, so you just use these modal verbs to build the sentences and basically you can build almost all sentences, everything what you want to say with modal verbs without any time changing in the verb, what is like make your life so much easier because if you want to use a normal verb without modal verb you need to change time otherwise this would be wrong and then you need to know all forms of this verb all times of it which is like quite difficult to remember from the beginning but modal verbs they will just save you this this time to learn this all all all, all forms all possible forms there are such modal verbs like mögen, um, I like, uh, I want, uh, ich will, and you just say ich will something, and I don't know, like um, running, I want running, ich will laufen, so you just put this uh, running without any configuration, otherwise you will say uh, I run, I, I run, you know, <laughs> in different times and it's already a different story and different complexity of the grammar. Also, so important is to read and read a lot, everything, everything, read just everything you can see and take with you some books, maybe you have an ebook, it's a great way and also magazines, that's helped me a lot because magazines are easy to read there are magazines like Deutsch Perfect was my favorite because it's for learning German but it's also very entertaining it's like, it's like news, I don't know which kind of it's interesting topics to read but there are vocabulary visit and there are, you, we, we just try to make as a as a learning book for a language, but it's a magazine, it's much more interesting than a learning book. So just take this magazine, I think we have each month uh, or each week we uh, bring a new one and just learn it, just read it, enjoy because uh, it's not that boring and you learn a lot of new words. So I would always write down the words I want to learn and I don't understand in my notebook from this magazine and then uh, I learn it uh, afterwards more intense. Also read uh, books like some easy books. I read a lot of books but don't read uh, normal newspapers from the beginning because newspapers are very difficult. They are very, I don't know, the language is very strange like people don't speak this way. It's, I mean it's very official language so you, you probably would not understand it. Just leave the uh, newspapers because I was like crazy with newspapers. I like to read newspapers, but in Germany it was very difficult for me. I bought all the time newspapers in hope to understand something, but no, no chance. So um, yeah, reading is a key. If you don't like reading, you can watch the movie or watching something to some TV shows in English with the German subtitles or watching in German and with the English subtitles. I don't know how to, if it's possible. Uh, it's also a very common way, but I'm not really a fan of movies and etc. So if you like this kind of um, learning method, use it. Uh, definitely uh, spend your time in this way as well. And the last one for people who are already in Germany, just don't surround yourself only with the foreigners and you know speaking all the time English with them because it's what I saw in my language courses. A lot of people they just uh, you know have friends from other countries because it's easier to make a friendships with people who are also foreigners in Germany as with the locals, but then they just don't learn any language in their free time. By hanging out with these friends, they are speaking only English and then they both don't learn any German actually. But if you have German friends, some people you know, you can just learn in German with them all the time in your free time by just having conversation, hanging out, going out 
wherever. That was also really, really efficient way for me. Also, as a au pair, I was in German family, and then as I was, uh, I did the volunteering, and then I worked. I always was surrounded with Germans because I was living in a shared apartment only with a German. Then I have friends who are only German, and like I speak German then all the time in my free time, and I don't, I didn't use my English at all. But then I moved uh, to the Greece. I started to speak more English and in Austria as well a little bit. So if you're in Germany, you just just have Germans around you. It's nothing helps best than people surrounding you. That was all my tips and recommendation for learning German from the beginning. The Biggest tip is just go to Germany, move as au pair, go volunteering, come here for a language course. Even like for a couple of weeks, this will bring you more than you will go for one year in your home country. I really tell you from my experience, because I, I learned English in my home country, but it was like nothing. Nothing. When you move to other country, then you speak language, you learn language because you have to. If you can't move to Germany, try your best and learn it at home and then go to Germany as quick as you can because otherwise it's anyway not that efficient. So uh, thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel for more video about Germany and Austria. And I will see you in a, another video and don't forget to subscribe.